the project 21630 and 31, Buyan or Buyan M, is a series of 15 corvettes developed by Lenendorsk Design Bureau for the Russian Navy. With three vessels being built to the 21530 design, and eight have been built to the 21631 design, or Buyan M subclass, with four currently still under construction. Originally, the Buyan class were artillery vessels built to replace the Nanuchka class vessels currently in service, but it was believed these vessels to be underarmed. And such, a subclass of this vessel was developed, the Buyan M class. These vessels would be larger, longer range, and armed with anti-ship missiles. I shall cover the 30 specifications first. So the 30s, which are the first three, they are 62 meters long, with a beam of 9.6 meters and a draft of 2 meters, giving them a displacement of 500 tons of standard and 520 tons fully loaded. The vessels will be powered by a CODOG or CODAG system of four diesel generators producing power through two shafts or two pump jets, giving the 30s a top speed of 28 knots, with a maximum range of 1,500 nautical miles at an unknown speed, or 10 days endurance. The standard crew will consist of 29 to 36 officers and enlisted personnel. The 30s are fitted with the following radar fits. One positive ME-1 3D active shipborne phased array radar, capable of detecting contacts out to 150 kilometers, as well as 30, 30 kilometers in altitude at plus 85 degree elevation on a 360 degree azimuth. It is unknown what frequency this radar operates in, but at a guess of its range, I would estimate to be an Echo Foxtrot band radar in the NATO frequency bands. One Nyada navigational radar is carried, capable of detecting contacts out to 46.3 kilometers, and this radar operates in the India slash Juliet bands. One MR123 02 fire control radar for the close in weapon systems, capable of locking onto targets out to 45 kilometers making it an India slash Juliet band radar based on the radar's range. And finally, one Anapa M anti-saboteur sonar. The 30s armed with one 100mm A190-01 naval gun. It is unknown the range of this weapon system, but the turret is able to elevate to plus 85 degrees and depress to minus 15 degrees. The turret can also traverse through 170 degrees. This weapon system has a rate of fire of 80 rounds per minute with an 80 round stowage in their magazines. Two 30mm AK630 close-in weapon systems capable of effective range of 6,000 meters with an RPM of 4,500 rounds per minute. These weapon systems have a 2,000 rounds currently loaded in the weapon system with an additional 1,000 rounds ready in a ready-use bin. One 40-barrel retractable A215 Grad M rocket launcher is also carried, capable of firing out to 20 kilometers, and one 4-barrel 3M47 Gibka launcher for Igla man-pad surface-to-air missiles is also carried. This weapon system has an operational range of 5.2 kilometers with a speed of Mach 1.9. One DP-65 anti-saboteur grenade launcher is also carried. The 31s are larger vessels coming in at 949 tons fully laden. They have a length of 75 meters, a beam of 11 meters, and a draft of 2.5 meters. They are fitted with the same propulsion as the 30s, however the increase in size has dropped the be down by 2 knots to 26 knots. They also follow the 30s with the same radar suite, but are fitted with radar jammers. The reason these vessels are larger is due to the addition of the vertical launch anti-ship missiles located amidships. The weapon systems on board the 31s are as follows. One 100mm gun, same as on the 30s, 
two 30mm AK630C Wiz, again the same as on the 30s. One Panzer M close in weapon system fitted to the Stadapol. This is a jamming resistant naval close in weapon system capable of firing up to 20 kilometers with an RPM of 10,000 rounds per minute. This weapon system holds Hermes K service to air missiles and two 30mm Gatling guns. This weapon system also has a reaction time of about 3 to 5 seconds. Two quad vertical launch SSN 27 Sizzler or SSN 26 Yakont service to where, well, anti ship missiles are also carried. Sizzler is able to fire out to 300 kilometers with speeds of up to Mark 2.9. This will fly at sea skimming level of 20 meters above the sea level. This weapon uses an active homing head, but also requires a third-party targeting system from satellites. Yakont is able to fire on targets out to 600 kilometers at a speed of Mark II. This will fly at sea skimming or 10 meters above sea level. Again, this weapon seeker has a active seeker head. And like the 30s, the rest of the weapon systems are exactly the same as the 30s design. The service career of these ships is a little bit unknown, but what we know is, on the 7th of October 2015, Corvette Grand Sveriazask Uglish Vekeli Ustanog and Gepard class frigates Dagstan deployed to the Caspian Sea, launching 26 caliber cruise missiles at 11 terrorist targets in Syria. The missiles flew nearly 1,500 kilometers or 930 miles over Iraq and Iran and struck targets in Raqqa and Aleppo provinces controlled by Islamic State, as well as in Idlib province controlled by Al Qaeda linked Nasara Front. According to the US Department of Defense officials, several of these cruise missiles fired from Russian ships crashed in Iran and did not make it to the intended targets in Syria. A Syrian dissident organization's TV reported that an unidentified flying object crashed into and exploded in the village near the Iranian city of Takab. On the 20th of November 2015, the same warships launched 18 caliber cruise missiles from the Caspian Sea at seven terrorist targets in Rakab, Idlib, and Aleppo provinces. On the 13th of February 2016, Corvette Zeleny Dol was deployed to the Mediterranean Sea. And on the 19th of August of the same year, Corvette Zeleny Dol and Serpukov deployed to the Mediterranean Sea, launching caliber cruise missiles at positions of Al Nasara terrorist group in Syria. As a result of the strikes, a number of terrorist facilities were destroyed, including command posts and base near the village of Dar Ta Izar, and weapon production plants and warehouses in Aleppo provinces. On the 25th of the same year, Zeleny Dol and Spurakov were deployed to the Baltic Sea to join the newly formed division in Kaliningrad. It is to note, on the 4th of November 2014, during the Euronaval 2014 exhibition, it was announced that Kazakhstan has sent a request for the construction of three Project 21632 Tornado small artillery slash missile ships. The ships were believed to have been laid down in 2015. Current open source intelligence suggests that Project 21630 vessels Astra Khan, Volgodanska, and Markhash Kala are all in service with the Caspian Sea Fleet. The Project 21631 vessels, Grand Sevilla Ashika, Uglash, and Vakili Ustag are in service with the Caspian Sea along with side the vessels of the 30 project. The Zeleny Dol and Spurakov are operating out of the Black Sea. And finally, Vichy Volokchok, Orek Havozerevel, and Ingush Etia 
are in service with the Black Sea Fleet. Grivonon, Grand Noro Foromansk, and Stravopol are currently under construction and are expected to commission into the fleet in 2020 and onwards until 2023. Expected to join the Black Sea Fleet. And before we finish the uh, video, Russia, I really do apologise. I'm really bad at pronouncing your ships. I am slowly getting better as I'm learning Russian. And that's my apology over. I do apologise, Russia. Please don't kill me. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. I hope you learned something new today. If you have, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow the Discord channel to see what's coming up next. And if you really want to, you can also support me on Patreon if you really would like to. There's a few perks with that one. But, as always, take care, have a nice day, I shall see you soon.